Hi, Nikki here, and uh, yes, I am forever working on my A-liner. Um, my goal is to actually be able to take it on a camp out this season. I really don't want to do a camp out in the dead of winter. So I'm working really hard, and right now I'm working on the kitchen uh, cabinet. So managed to get the refrigerator installed. I am going to paint that front oak panel white so that it matches the cabinet. Uh, but that's just one of those nice little touches for later on. So I did do a, cub, a custom countertop for the kitchen cabinet. And this is it upside down. I just wanted to kind of update you on the fact that silly me thought I would be able to put it back into place no problem. But I think during the manufacturing process, they put the cabinet in first and then the appliances and did all the other stuff. So I had to figure out a workaround, which ended up being this. So in some places there are L brackets to attach it to the framing wood inside of the cabinet, but in other places like over the refrigerator where there is minimal space where the stove goes, I actually had to put in extra wood so that I could actually screw it back in uh, without taking the refrigerator back out. So that's kind of it and uh, I'm going to pause the video real quick and set the cabinet or the countertop on place and be right back. So yeah, I must have done the measurements right because it actually did fit back into place. So under here, where I added the framing wood, I'll be able to screw it to the frame inside of the cabinet. And this little nugget is actually a normal faucet. And when they, when I got the A-liner, it was actually sitting, this was actually sitting on top of the counter. But it also caused sag because the hinge was bumping against it and pushing it down. So I decided to recess it. So I cut the hole so that it would fit in there nicely. And then to space it and keep it in place, I put this piece of wood as a holder. And to keep the spacing the way I wanted it, there's actually a washer between here and here. There's actually a washer right in there. So um, I thought it was kind of cute to have a normal faucet. So now all I gotta do is put the sink and the stove back into place. This is my custom countertop, by the way. I ended up doing a second pour because the first one just didn't offer enough coverage and I missed some spots. What you see on there now is just fingerprints and sweat, but the second pour made it turn out very nicely. It's got that mirror shine to it, so all the countertops will be the same. And as a, just a little refresher, if you didn't already see the previous video, this is just uh, plywood with stone paint to give it that nice coloring and then two pours of epoxy resin on top of it and I think it looks fabulous so until next time hopefully I'll be able to say I've made much more progress progress but I doubt it so until next time I will see you later